He was bleeding profusely from his mouth. He had cuts all over his face. He was like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I can get up. And I said, no, you need to stay down, your face is bleeding. Last summer, heroes John Langston and Leah Moe performed emergency first aid on a cyclist that suffered life-threatening injuries in a fall. People say I'm a hero and I just say no, I'm just at the right place at the right time, doing what I know what to do. We invited Leah and John to a city park to tell their story and to talk firsthand about the importance of taking a first aid CPR class. When you take the class, it's, it's rigorous. Both John and Leah use skills they learn in a Red Cross class while working in the Mount Hood area with the Clackamas County Environmental Youth Corps. One day, as she moved rocks to help restore a watershed, Leah noticed mountain bikers riding on a gravel road nearby. Juan just decided to pop a wheelie, and when he popped the wheelie, his bike just like clopped, and his face hit the handlebars and the ground. One of the first things I learned in the Red Cross first aid was not to run to the scene, because if you trip, then there's two people that are hurt. John was really helpful because I had never seen someone just stay calm like that. The impact of the accident knocked out seven of the biker's teeth, so Leah grabbed latex gloves from the first aid box so she could safely apply gauze to the man's facial wounds. Leah automatically just puts on the gloves and like no fear whatsoever. If I didn't know any of that, I think I would be panicking and I wouldn't know what to do. We didn't have anything really for him to put in his mouth to clench down on to stop the bleeding. So I, I first thought was to take off my shirt and just bunch it up and have him bite down on that. We told him he had to stay down and I had my hand on the back of his neck the whole time to make sure he kept his neck straight. John and Leah later learned that the biker had fractured several vertebrae and may have been paralyzed if not for the emergency aid they delivered that day the result of what each had learned in a Red Cross first aid class. Even if you've never taken one, at least take one in your lifetime because you never know what's going to happen. It's just great to know what to do if things happen.